Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome, Cross Watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation that's going on with you and your person. Remember that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for everybody. But if you are interested in a personal reading much like this, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you guys. So I see that with you and your person, there could be something that um, you two are very alike is kind of what I'm seeing. There's something about you two. We have twin flames here, yin and yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. So I see that you know that there is... Um, like a deeper a spiritual connection here. I see that somebody's been having trust issues and somebody's been really on guard and um, could have been on the verge of kind of just giving up and letting things come to a crash and end. But I see that um, there's a decision that this person has been, or you has, have been kind of unsure about or wary about, about whether or not to give up. But I see that this decision has to do with a commitment as well here and something long term. But I see that although somebody was on the verge of giving up, I don't see that they have given up or you have given up. And I get that um, this could be a Leo Aries Sagittarius that you are dealing with or that could be you with having some of those qualities in your chart. And I see that in your person's energy, they are masking something. They're not showing you, uh, they're not showing you exactly the, their true selves here. They have been hiding their, their true feelings for you as well. So I get that this person here, they really have a lot of love for you. And they want to offer some form of uh, stability and wanting to commit and nurture a situation here and be focused and dedicated. And I see that this is something that they're coming in to say. This could be somebody who's been kind of in and out of your life. This could be someone who's very active or even I see this being a phone call or word of mouth that... You could be hearing from this person. I see that uh, somebody could have said goodbye and somebody could have walked away because what they were getting just wasn't enough emotionally. But there's been a lot of emotions that have been already invested into this situation here. And you also really care about this person here. So I see that this person is someone who... Um, is could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, and I am getting that you've had some doubts. You've had some doubts about what the future holds for you two. You've been a little bit hesitant about it, but I get that you do really love this person and you do want to be with them, and I see that there is some new beginning that is coming towards you, a new fresh start or a rekindling of things. Uh, it could be a reconciliation. You could be wanting to reconcile with this person. And I am also seeing that you're, you feel very intuitively with your intuition that this is a spiritual connection here and you are kind of seeing things more clear. So I do see that there's a celebration. So this is a wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups and the, with the Three of Cups here. So I really see that there's something that's going to be celebrated. And there is uh, something that someone has been trying to manifest is now coming, now coming true. I'm hearing 1111. So... This is a reconciliation, and I also see that there are there's someone who's making better choices, 
wanting to make better choices. This could be an apology. Uh, yeah, an apology, wanting another chance and wanting to figure out a way how to, um, what needs to change and how to fix things. So I do see that someone wants to apologize and wants another chance and wants to make better choices. But I'm getting that this is something that either you or them have been wishing for. Because I'm seeing that there's been some temptation between you and this person here. And it hasn't really been talked about. But this person, they've been hiding it and not showing you their true selves and not showing you how they truly feel. But I see that there is... Uh, there, for, for some of you, there was an ending, but I see that there's been a really stressful situation that can have to do with uh, a third party interference, uh, some sort of temptation or hooking up. Uh, but I see that there is this Knight of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy who wants to come around and wants to work things out and wanting to have uh, a happy ending so i see that somebody has felt betrayed because of a of a third party situation that can have to do with uh other people or friends or family even but i see that um somebody wants to work on it and wants to show in some effort but they're still showing up as a knight of wands which is still going to be uh kind of inconsistent So let's get some details for you guys. Details for Scorpio. Okay, so I'm getting that there's a soulmate and then there's a twin flame so a decision between twin flame or soulmate and i see that's could that could be what this love triangle is about so there's two people here and your 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 person could be someone who's living at a distance or could have been seen as emotionally distant with this mask and i do see though that this person is now putting something out there for you that has to do with a, a commitment. So it looks like it's on its way to you. And we did see earlier that that Nine of Cups and the Sun card. So I see wish fulfillments. There's an obstacle that you feel has been kind of delaying things or causing an uh, a blockage. And... I see that this is being overcome, something is being short-lived, or something has ended uh, very uh, quickly, but there's someone who's going to be left hurt from this uh, third-party situation here, and it does look like it could have to do with a twin flame. So I'm going to get a few more cards for you guys before I close off this reading. Okay. So I see that someone is weighing out the pros and cons of a decision and having some trust issues with uh, another person and that could be a soulmate. And I see though that there's this person in your energy who has been asking for you and wanting to wanting you to be in their life and praying on it as well. So I see that you kind of see right through this person would be assertive. So I see that you have definitely seen through this mask or seen through uh, what they're showing you away of themselves or trying to hide their feelings, but you see right through it. And you intuitively and empathetically feel those things. 
I see big happy changes for you guys. So something that's worth celebrating about, making healthier choices in love and in life, self-love and self-care, and overall just being happier. And this is a big happy change though. So this is going to be um, a really a really good outcome after um, being hurt or betrayed or something coming to an end. I see that within the few next few weeks could be significant. So 10 weeks even. Somebody wants forgiveness and somebody wants to make an apology. An apology with a commitment. And it does look like somebody's trying to think about things practically. Think, looking at things from a practical sense here. So... This is what I'm getting for you, Scorpio. If you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. And if you found some guidance or clarity in this situation, um, I hope that helped you. And thank you all for watching. Bye.